Hello, chicken. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. I've purposely waited to film you doing the COVID, oh. even though you finished one room, because the air has been a little bit blue <laughs> <laughs> since yesterday. And then, what's happened since then? You seem to have turned a corner a bit. Mm, yeah, kind of. It's. Uh... The difficult thing was to get my head around how to put the corners and then all of a sudden it's clicked. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, you COVID, anybody. Um, first of all, make sure that your walls are lovely and straight and you've got lovely 90 degree angles. So as you can see with... That's impossible here. Yeah, you know, with yeah. here you've got wavy walls, wavy ceilings, um, yeah. so it doesn't help, as you can see in that corner there, butting up to get a lovely 40, well, into a 90 degree, degree angle, 245 should look really nice, but because it's slightly out by a degree or two, either here or there, it gives you gaps. Although that one's not too bad. Yeah, you just told me to film that one. Yeah. <laughs> film that corner. Film that corner. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the tip is on an internal corner, your bottom cut, is or your bottom piece needs to be longer than your top and when you're doing an external corner it's the opposite your top piece needs to be longer than your bottom sort of 45 degree angle if it's on a on a 90 degree corner mm -hmm. so yeah so, so that's easy i've not wasted any um any lengths like i did yesterday yesterday it took me ages to work out and to get my head around it um, yeah have you got enough to finish this room then? Yeah. Okay, because I know when you ordered it, it was, uh, when I ordered it, you could order it in like batches of 10 metre and 20 metre. Right. I know the batches of 10 wasn't quite enough, so I ordered two batches of 20, one 20 for each room. I think it's better value, so. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I should have some left over, but well, I have not finished yet, but um, mm. it's probably about another four metres. There, another one meter there, so you've got about six meters of cuts. Okay, and the new ceiling roses up as well. So it's up to me to paint all this stuff now <laughs> to make it look, hide the joints, and make it look the same color as the ceilings because mm -hmm. this is bright white, which would have loved, but the paint we've got is matte uh, white and it never looks white in France for some reason. <clears throat> no matter what brand of paint, matte white seems to be the code for off-white, I think. But uh, I can't hold this phone, my, my arms are shaking from painting earlier, so I'm just... <laughs> it's shaking all over. Right, I'm going to leave you to it and I'm going to get back painting then. Okay. Alright, good luck. So here it is, here's the coping. And uh, it's had its coats of paint. Bit of an issue, I think, with me painting it before the cork was completely dry. We've corked it at the top. Um, so a few cracking issues, but I believe it was the paint cracking, not the cork. So gave it another few days before I gave it its second coat, but not looking too bad. Just wait for me. No, just wait for me. So 
favourite Sunday and uh, most of the time we've been keeping up with um, the English tradition of a Sunday lunch. So I've come to the garden um, to see if we have some green cabbage. We call this Savoy cabbage and uh, in France they call it Chou Vert, Chou Vert, just green cabbage. So, uh, let's... so not a lot of distinction between the, the grass at the moment and the beds. Beds look quite a bit of a mess but there's a lot of production going on still. Um, the red cabbages, some of them are starting to look okay. We've overwintered those. We've got carrots that we've been pulling all winter. And then finally, we have our choux vert, our savoy cabbages that uh, are doing well. So I'm going to take one of these, prep that back in for dinner, and then go and carry on painting. And of course, the chickens and Maverick the goose love cabbage leaves, lettuce leaves, anything green. So pull a few of these off and give them to them. What's for these? Oh, then. <laughs> Don't panic, it's only cabbage. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to keep up to date with our daily updates, please consider looking at our Facebook group and our Instagram pages. Um, details are in the video description below. And thank you to those, an extra thank you um, to those people who are supporting us on Patreon. We really, really, really appreciate it. We have actually started work on the next project, which is why we're not showing you the coving in the other bathroom that uh, is half finished. Um, but in order for me to be doing uh, what I need to be doing, which is plastering another bedroom, um, Julian is now working on the next project. So look out for that for the next video. He needs to spend a few days. He's halfway done on that. Um, and we're excited to show you the progress. Bye for now.